hello yeah welcome back to our second lecture uh, on uh, design of concrete structures uh, in the last class we have discussed about how do you find out the stability and how do we check the stability analysis of a retaining wall uh, means uh, uh, using overturning and sliding so we know how to find out uh, overturning moment you know how to find out restoring moment okay and we know how to check it up so the factor of safety is uh, restoring moment uh, divided by overstanding moment should be greater than 1.5 or at least equal to 1.55 same is the case with sliding also so today we will do a small problem on this okay the problem is uh, the figure is given to you below we need to check whether this retaining wall is stable in overturning and sliding check whether the following retaining wall is stable or not with respect to overturning and sliding use the following data the following data is that are given unit weight of soil is given 16 kg per cubic meter coefficient of friction uh, that is 0.5 angle of repose is 30 degree so you can see the, the other data the height is given total height is given which is h Okay, all these things are given. So let us see. First, let us start with. Uh, well, let us write the given data first. So, given data, the height is five meter. Uh, remember, when I say the height of retaining wall means the total height, including the bottom of, I mean, the thickness of the base slab. Okay, so total is five meter. That is one meter plus another one meter. Uh, four meter plus one meter. Okay. Uh, then. B B is nothing but the width of the base slab. This is the base slab. This is 3.2 meter. If you see our previous video, previous lecture, you know the bottom width is we denoted it as B, capital B. And the unit weight of soil that is nothing but gamma. The soil is you know overlaid soil here. That is uh, unit weight is it's given as 16. The coefficient of friction at the bottom of the base slab between the concrete and the soil. This coefficient of friction. mu is 0.5 and angle of repose that is phi uh, usually we denote it as phi 30 degree uh, because angle of repose we need to find out uh, the active earth pressure okay and surcharge load it is given you see the surcharge load it is given this uh, red color it is given you know it is 10 kN meter and the width of stem at top which is this is the stem at top width This is you know, usually we denote it as B. It is 0.2 meter, and uh, the width of uh, stem at bottom here is complete. But it is given as 0.5 meter. Usually we denote it as D, small D, and thickness of the base slab. This is 0.5. So these are the things given to you. So to start with, uh, we will calculate the active earth pressure. The formula is K. Is equal to one minus sine phi divided by one plus sine phi. So phi is given uh, 30 degree. So when you calculate this one, you will get 0.33. Okay. So why do you need uh, active earth pressure to calculate? The reason is you know for finding out our turning moment. Uh, it is K A gamma H is the base here. The stress diagram for the soil and stress diagram which uh, I mean surcharge load. You know this is K A and gamma H, K A and Q. So in that case, for finding out uh, total load, horizontal force PH1 and PH2, we need this one. So we found out uh, K is equal to 0.33. Now let us see. First thing we will find out uh, overturning moment. You, the previous class we have seen the overturning moment is nothing but PH1 into Y1 plus PH2 into Y2. Okay, or we call it as a sigma PH1, hmm? PH1 Y1. Right? So uh, let us find out pH one. So this is a stress diagram. This green color indicates the stress distribution due to soil, and uh, this color, this light uh, orange color, indicates the stress distribution due to surcharge load. And you know how to calculate K A gamma H and all these things. Are. And uh, the total load, because we will be doing, we will be calculating the load separately. That is, pH one is for the rectangular portion, triangular portion, and pH two is for rectangular portion. We are taking the moment at the bottom, so pH1 into Y1 plus pH2 into Y2. Okay, 
so how do you calculate q h1 the area of the triangle which will give you the total load so this is triangle is area is half into v into h half into k a gamma h uh, and the total height is h 5 meter so you will get for half into 0.5 into k a is 0.33 gamma is 16 gamma of soil and h is 5 meter and this h so this is the area of this triangle which will give you 66.66 and this load will be acting at the center of gravity here cg what is the cg of uh, a triangle which is h by 3 from the bottom so total height is 5 meter this is 5 meter 5 meter by 3 that is 1.66 okay then we need to find out ph2 so ph2 it is a triangle i mean rectangle because of the surface charge load so the bottom is ka into q so ph2 is the area of the rectangle which is ka into q into h ka q into h 0.33 into q is 10 uh, given in the question and height is 5 meter so 60.66 and where where does it act it act at the center cg center gravity what is cg of uh, rectangle it is at the center you know so pi by 2 so our turning moment is sigma phy meaning pH1 into Y1 plus pH2 into Y2. So let us substitute the values 66.66 into 1.66, and you will get at last our turning moment is 152.647 kN meter. It's a moment, so it's not good. Okay, so our turning moment is completed. So let us find out the restoring moment. For finding out restoring moment, you know, so please see the figure. Uh, as we discussed in the last class, you know, we are finding out uh, taking the moment of all the forces, vertical forces to the here, the toe here. Okay, so that is W1, which is rectangular portion, W2 is the triangular portion, W3 is the base, W4 is the soil portion, W5 is a surcharge. And this X1, X2, X3, X4, X5 is respective distance from the toe to the particular force load that's for w1 means this point and this one distance x1 x2 uh, where is x3 x3 is bottom x3 x4 x5 all right uh, so let us uh, find out this distance first actually let us consider x1 x1 is here the load distance between this load which will be acting at the cg and this distance x1 so this is given 1.5 meter total is 0.5 here this is 0.2 so this distance will be 0 0.3 0 0.5 minus 0 0.2 and uh, this is this load will be acting at the center so 0 0.2 by 2 so that is how we are getting 1.9 remember and x2 the load is acting this is a triangular portion this load is w2 distance between this for this point and w2 that is called x2 so since it's a triangle, uh, in a triangle, you know, the CG will be h by 3 from the base. From the vertex, it is 2 h by 3. That is that is why 2 into 0 0.3 by 3 plus this distance 1.5. So you will get x2. Same way x3 also. x3 is total is 3.2. Since this is a rectangle, CG will be at the center. So this distance 3.2 by 2 1.6 and x4 is here all right uh, so uh, this distance total is 1.2 so 1.2 by 2 is uh, 0 0.6 plus this 0 0.5 plus 1.5 okay same is the case for x5 also w5 so just uh, spend some time and go through so we will understand how we are getting all these things okay Hope it is clear. This is nothing but the distance between the toe, the face of the toe and the load where it is acting. So all the loads will be acting at the CG of the respective figures. Yeah. Now, restoring moment, previously we have seen, the last plus we have seen, it is the sigma W into X. That is W1 into X1 plus W2 into X2 up to W5 into X5. Okay, this is what we have seen. So we have uh, found out the x1, x2, x3, then w1. The last class we have discussed w1 is rectangular portion, the weight of rectangular portion, w2 is weight of triangular portion, w3 is the weight of the base slab, 
W4 is the weight of the soil. W5 is the weight of the surcharge. Okay. So we have seen last class how do we find it out. So W1 is nothing but uh, the weight of this one. That is 0.2 is top for area. 0.2 into height is 4.5 into 25 is unit weight. W2 half into B into H. Half into this is 0 0.3, 0 0.5 minus 0 0.2, 0 0.3 into uh, 4.5 is the height 25 and w3 for this one this is the base slab 3.2 into 0.5 40 gallon water will get and w4 is the weight of the soil actually remember all these things we are taking for one meter so i have not specified one separately here this into one will come that is not considered actually. that is 1.2 into 4.5 and the weight of the soil is unit weight of soil is 16 which is given in the question so it's 36.4 and w5 is the load so you know that the ud load you know ud load if it comes uh, let's say 10 kilo per meter for a distance of 1.2 meter then the total load is 10 into 1.2 so don't take a 10 into 1.2 into 4.5 meter height no which is wrong so please keep in mind yeah so we got w1 W2, W3, all the loads and the corresponding distance also. Now you can find out restoring moment. See, like this W1, 1.9. So, W uh, restoring moment is sigma Wx, which is W1 into x1 plus W2 into x2, similar. So, up to W5 into x5. So, we will get 391.27 kN meter. So, how do you check whether it is stable in overtraining? So, as per the requirement, the four, uh, the factor of safety, that is restoring moment by overtraining moment, should be greater than or equal to 1.55. So, in our case, 391.27755 will be 152.6 for It's coming 2.56. So, which is greater than 1.55. When I say 2.56, meaning is that our restoring moment is 2.56 times more than one point, uh, I mean, overtraining moment. So, we are safe. Yeah, hope it is clear now. So, uh, another one we can uh, represent this in a tabular form. This will be easy for the, for you to write in your exams and all you know. So you can do to make a tabular column like this: description, weight, x, and w into x. So this is the figure. So first you take rectangular portion, find out the weight x1 and w into x1. Triangular portion. This is one. This is the present triangular portion. Same way. Whatever we have done previous, you know, same thing I have depicted in a tabular form. This will be easy for you to find out. Rectangular base for this one. Yellow color. Backfill. It is like this. Surcharge. This one. Like this. You know, it is nothing the same value. So that it is easy for you. Uh, you know, when you do the sliding check also. So, and at last you find out sigma W. I added everything so it will come 1.177.7 kN and WX also. Sigma WX you find out, add everything so 391.27 kN meter. Yeah. So, uh, same way uh, you can represent uh, this uh, pH also. We have done no overturning moment. Same way we can do it. We have done it previously. See, see here how you calculated this overturning moment you know that is what uh, same way ph1 ph2 that all we have shown in a tabular form like this here i don't have any space uh, that's why we have to add is sigma ph and sigma phy i have shown it here forget about this one uh, sigma ph is if you add everything this two it will come 83.25 and sigma phy this and this if you add it uh, 152.645 okay Now check for sliding. So overturning is over sliding. Sliding means because of this load, sigma pH, the, this one, this over retaining wall might move actually. So we have seen the last class factor of safety uh, is nothing but mu into sigma w divided by sigma pH. So sigma w uh, we have calculated on the previous 177.7 and mu is given or uh, eta is given as 0.5 in 177.7 divided by 
sigma pH horizontal force 83.25 so it is coming 1.07 as per the code you know it should be minimum 1.55 so in this meaning is that in this case particular case it is not safe so how to make it safe is as you have, sh as I have shown here a, a brown color portion no? it is called shear key we will provide a shear key at the bottom for a full length or for some intermittent distance so this design of shear key we will see in the design part so this is how uh, we will uh, find out so hope it is clear any questions we will discuss in the class thank you very much